Hey guys, Aziz here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy landing page using Dreamweaver. So let's get started. So for this landing page, we need two main things. We need an index.php file and a style sheet. So right here, I have those two very things. So we're just going to drop that into our Dreamweaver. Now that we have both our style sheet and index file pulled into Dreamweaver, we need to attach the style sheet. So to do that, we'll just go click on text, scroll down to CSS styles, and click on attach sheet. From here, we'll just have to browse and pick up the style sheet, and then hit OK. Now that I have my style sheet attached to my PHP file, I can start editing my PHP. So the first thing I'm going to do is change the title. This is going to be for a Christian dating offer, so we'll change the title to just Christian dating. After I've changed the title of the PHP, I'm going to insert a few scripts that's going to allow me to call out the user passing through tokens from POF. Now if you have any questions on that, we do have a previous post titled the Dynamic Landing Pages, which will pretty much explain how this is done. So I'm simply going to pull up a script that I saved earlier using a geotargeting script. And I'm going to insert this above the head of the document. I'm also going to insert uh, some a script that's going to allow me to pass through POF tokens. Now that I've inserted those scripts, I can move on into editing the body of my landing page. In the body tag, I'm going to insert another tag which I'm going to use as a reference for all the other div classes I'm going to create for my landing page. And to do that, I'm simply going to go up to insert div tag, and in class, I'm going to select wrapper. Now we'll just delete out this content for right now. We'll hit enter to move down that div. Now anything, any other div classes uh, we enter from here on out are going to be within this wrapper tag. Now all I'm going to do is insert the rest of the tags from my style spreadsheet. This process is just as simple as inserting the wrapper div tag. So I'm just going to go up to insert div tag to class and as you can see, I have a number of different items which I can inject. I'm going to include all of these starting from the top all the way down to the bottom. Now that I've inserted all the div tags that I want for my landing page, I can begin rearranging them. But before I do that, I want to change the properties of my wrapper tag. To do that, I'm just going to click on wrapper, double click on position absolute, and change the dimensions of the wrapper. For width, I'm going to just go with 800 pixels, and for height, we'll do 500 pixels. And that's all we need to do for right now. Now what that does is it allows us a white space within which we can uh, work around and rearrange our div tags. Now I'm just going to click on each individual div class and move them around as such. And now you can see the basic layout for my landing page. As you can tell, I have an area for a CTA headline, an area for social proof, as well as an area for bullet points, urgency, a strap line, some secure logos, and some profile pictures. 
Now the first div tag I'm going to edit is going to be my strap line area. Now for your strap line you want to include something that really calls out the user. Since this is a Christian dating offer, I'm going to use something really generic. Something like, just found, and we'll just pick a random number here, single Christian men in. Now here, instead of inserting something hard-coded like a specific region, I'm going to insert a GeoScript which will pull that user's location. Now I have that script set aside, so I'll just quickly pull that up, copy it, and paste it into the code section. Next I'm going to finish this off with just one last item. Because I have six profile pictures, I'm going to include something like showing first six matches. Then all I'm going to do is just rearrange this a little bit so it looks a little bit better. We'll make this font a little larger and bold. On top of that, I'm going to add hyperlinks to the numbers here. Now to create hyperlinks is really easy. You just want to highlight whatever you want for the hyperlink and down in this bottom section where it says link, include the link you want to lead them to. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to use youroffer.com. Then I'm going to do the same thing for this top number. And now we have our strap line. Next I'm going to edit the profile pictures section of my landing page. To do that, I'm just going to insert a few images that I already have saved. I'm going to insert image, and as you can see here, I have six pictures to choose from. I'm just going to pick from the top and work my way down. Select, we'll hit OK. And then, as we insert these images on the left, I'm also going to insert three more on the right. Now that we've inserted our profile images, we can move on into editing our profile information. Now for the profile information, I'm just going to use a very basic status, location, seeking, and view profile. So to do that, I'm going to delete out this section in profile info one tag. We'll type in status, online, hit shift enter, location, Seeking women, age, shift enter, and view profile. Now as you can see, the dimensions of this particular tag aren't wide enough to make sure that all my little bits of information are on one line. So instead of having to go back to change the code, I can simply click on the area and widen out my tag. Now since that overlaps with everything else here, I'm just going to widen out the wrapper and move a few things around. The nice thing about Dreamweaver is that you're able to just move around the content instead of having to go back and change around your style sheet. So back to it. For location, I'm actually just going to insert the same script I used up here in my strap line. So again, I'm going to pull up that script, we'll copy it in, and then in the code section, we'll insert our script. Now for the seeking women age part, I'm actually going to use a POF token that will allow me to pull, pass through rather, the user's age. So again, I have that token saved in a separate document. There we go. And in the code, I'm just going to insert that. A couple of last things I want to do for this info is create a hyperlink for the view profile. 
using the same method that we did for the numbers up here in the strap line. We'll just select view profile, then down in the link section, select our link, and there we go. The last thing for our information for the profile is that I want to change the color of the online. It just makes the this area look like it's an actual user. Once I have all that information set up, I'm just going to copy everything and then paste it in for the remaining five images. Next, I'm going to create a deadline uh, within which I want the user to act. So to do that, I'm just going to enter a simple, this offer expires by blank. So down here in the urgency class, I'm going to enter something real simple like limited time offer, offer expires and then here I'm going to include another script which will pull up the following day's date. So I have again that script saved. I'll just copy that and enter that in. Hit refresh and there we go. With our deadline now inserted, we only have a few more elements we need for our landing page to be complete. So up in the CTA headline section, I'm going to delete out that content and insert an image I've already saved which will include both a call to action, my join now, and my headline. For social proof, I'm going to again include another image and it's just as simple as seen in with a couple of logos. And for my security logos, I'm going to do the same thing. Just inserting a few security logos. Now that we've included all of our content for our landing page, we can start moving around our div tags to make it look a little bit more presentable. Once we have all of our div tags rearranged for the final look of our landing page, we just need to fix a few more things. So we'll just click on the wrapper here, double click on position absolute, and instead of absolute we're going to change that to relative for our wrapper tag. Next we want to go over to box and in the margin section select auto for the right and left. And finally, over in the border section, to make our content stand out a little bit more from the background, we're just going to add a thin border. Click apply, and there you see our final product. Once uploaded to your server, your page should look just like this. Now keep in mind, all of the images I've used here are for demonstration purposes only, so make sure you have permission before you use someone's profile picture or any logos in your landing page. On top of that, this type of layout for a landing page has been used time and time again. So when you create your own landing page, make sure you include some creativity and always split test. Thank you for watching and take care.